Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. More and more people are uploading their videos to the web as we do every day onto our YouTube account, which is coming close to hitting, well, at least at this point in time, 6,500 subscribers. Woohoo! Just need a few more. So if you haven't yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, go ahead and click the orange button and sign up right now because we do this stuff every day answering people's questions this question was submitted through a YouTube viewer or from them Sandman says I've been using Windows Movie Maker for a while now and I finally realized that it's pretty bad the output quality is horrible and it always converts my input files to the Windows Media Kodak do you know of any alternatives that do the same thing as Windows Movie Maker except not fail so badly at it well uh, First of all, I don't think Windows Movie Maker is all that bad. I mean, when it first was released, it was really bad, and it's certainly evolved over years. The version of Windows Movie Maker that comes with Windows Vista, for instance, is better than the one that comes with Windows XP in marginal ways. But it's not necessarily Windows Movie Maker or the codec that is causing the file quality issue that you're seeing. Um, it may be the level at which you're outputting that video. In Windows Movie Maker, you click a few buttons and it steps you through a wizard saying, how do you want to save this file? How do you want to output this file? If you choose during that wizard to save it to your computer, and then after you step through that, you get to the final screen, it asks you, do you want to optimize it for file size? Say no, give me more options. Don't optimize it for file size. You want to optimize it for quality. So you want to set it at the highest level that isn't above and beyond the way the video was input to Windows Movie Maker. For instance, if the quality of your video is only this good, let's say it only has you know this this high resolution, only this many frames per second, this many uh, kilobits is in terms of audio, uh, and you output it this much, you're wasting a lot of space. But if you find a profile in Windows Movie Maker that's closer to the original, you're going to be a lot happier with the output. That's just my guess. I don't think it's Windows Movie Maker itself. I think it's the way that you're choosing to save the file inside of Windows Movie Maker, and that's going to take some troubleshooting. Um, of course, you know, finding which setting is going to be good for you. My guess is that you've taken the file specifically from your digital camera, uh, and when you input it into Windows Movie Maker and tweak it, it is going to change depending, again, on how you decide to save that file out from Windows Movie Maker. Um, there are, of course, other programs out there that will allow you to edit video. Most of them, if not all of them, are not free. I have yet to find a free video editor that I would recommend for others. Maybe I could be wrong. This is where other people out there would be able to put in their suggestions. Uh, in fact, someone had posted a link to uh, looks like an amazing video editor on Linux, which is good for all you Linux people out there. It's called, uh, let's see, what is it called? Kino DV, K I N O. DV. So all you Linux fans out there, don't say I never gave you anything. Of course, you probably already knew about it anyway. Um, but as far as Windows goes, you're probably going to have to download something from the web, a demo, 30-day demo most likely, uh, from any one of the vendors like, uh, well, S Sonic, I believe, has got a video editor. The uh, uh, Vegas is definitely not free. Ulead, as some people are suggesting, Sony, Adobe, um, Fic? I didn't know Fic was a name. Okay. Okay, I have no idea if he just got me to cuss in another language or if that's actually the name of a video editor. It probably is, and I look stupid now. But hopefully you won't look stupid. If you have any other suggestions for Sandman, by all means, you can uh, suggest a way. Like I said, I'm always looking for better video editing packages uh, for Windows or any platform, really. Um, you know, it's 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 a complex uh, complex world, video encoding and video editing. It's not as easy as it could or should be. Uh, but it's these are questions that we all need answered because we, as I'm doing right now, we all deal with video in some way or form. Uh, or, of course, you know, swing by the chat room if you've got a suggestion that you just can't wait for. You don't want to leave a comment on the web somewhere and you want the chat room to talk about it or you've got questions, by all means, swing by. We're always here 24 hours a day, even if I'm not. These guys are up. Well, not all of them right now, but people are always here at live.perillo.com.